I'm going to share with you five lessons I learned from Airbnb King, Tommy Holt. First lesson I learned, doing it yourself can be costly. Tommy talked about in our interview, which I'll link up here to the right of the screen, right here in the corner, you'll see the card. Tommy said that doing it can be costly to learn it yourself. He spent 100K in learning lessons on his own. This is exactly where you need to find a coach or somebody like that who can help you learn and improve on whatever you're looking to improve on. The only catch you have to make sure you're aware of is that you need to make sure you're talking to the right person. Make sure there's somebody who are at the place where you want to be or at the location you want to be at, or you can prove that they are, you know, whatever they say they are. There's a lot of fake gurus out there. So be careful. Next lesson, the choice you don't make is still a choice that you make. Tommy talked about making decisions and making choices in an interview. When he said it, I realized that even the question, the, even the times that we decide not to make a decision, we're making a decision. Doesn't make sense, right? Well, let me clarify. If you have, let's say a, a pet dog and you're out, you're out to get this pet dog. You're, you're for your kids, the whole nine, you walk through the pound and you see the dog and decide, Hmm, I don't know. I'll come back later. You've literally made a decision to not get the dog which now leaves the opportunity for somebody else to come and get the dog. Think about that. How many times have you thought about, all right, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna hold on before I get this, shoes, cars, whatever it is, and then you come back and that's gone because you didn't take the opportunity. You made the choice not to, even though you made the choice to just wait. That choice was you, you making the decision not to. Money likes speed, speed likes money. So when you can, make the decision fast. Try not to waste as much time as you do with the smaller things. Yes, you have to be prepared. Yes, you have to be cautious, but be okay with making an impromptu decision and taking that shot, taking that chance. Number three, know your ROI. Is it time, is it money, or is it both? Tommy talked about knowing his ROI for his time and his money, and then realizing that they are both weighed equally, probably time a little bit more. And I 100% agree with you, him. The time that you have is finite. You don't have time that you can get back. You can't get that back. You can get money back. You can lose a million a day and gain a million tomorrow if you know what you're doing. But even if you know what you're doing, unless you got time travel and you're Doctor Who, you're, there's no way you're gonna get that time back. So be aware of what you're spending your time doing, what you're using, in that time, how you're growing in that time. That's lesson number three. Lesson number four, keep punching the wall to build the callus. Tommy talked about getting on phones and cold calling people and getting so many no's that you guys, you just get used to it. It's the exact same thing when you see like the Kung Fu movies and a guy is punching the post, punching it over and over and over and over and over again. And he's doing it since he was a kid until he's an adult or she's an adult for that matter, but they build the callus. It no longer hurts them to punch that post because they built that callus. Yes, it hurts a lot when you're starting. You gotta go, gotta work your way into it, gotta build it slow. But by the end of it, you turn into this bad Kung Fu ninja who's out here kicking it and taking names. So you need to build that callus. Whatever it is you're uncomfortable with doing, do it and keep building on it. Lesson number five, Observe to solve a problem for others. Tommy talked about taking the time to observe and that's in different aspects, either via listening or via watching or just being around whatever and observing what's happening in that area. Having that ability allows you to create a solution. When it comes to real estate, if you're in a neighborhood and you hear the complaining about a specific property, you know that property is a problem because you've taken the time to observe that that property is an issue for them, right? Having the ability to walk by that property and see it, the grass is growing higher and higher and higher and higher. That's observing and finding ways to solve that problem. Now all you gotta do to solve that problem is get a hold of the owner, the property owner, and get on that phone call. The same thing with multifamily. If you see a multifamily property in an area and it's busted, there's all kinds of shenanigans going on, stuff is broken down, you know that's a problem that you can help solve. 
you may be able to solve that problem by talking to your local government and getting an understanding where they'd like to see that area go to, how they would like to work on it. Maybe they've already got a plan in place to work on it. If you're looking for that kind of thing, I recommend checking out the planning commission as well. So those are my five lessons. I got to go. Remember, you're better than you were, but you're not half as good as you're going to be. I'll see you next time.